So today we are going to talk about the Doberman Pinscher. So we got somebody who's saying that their 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 dog is is biting and growling and and snipping at people and and uh, doing all kinds of bad things, right? So this is this is our Doberman. And this is this is close to my heart. Had some Dobermans, really like them as a breed. Really like Dobermans. So before I get started, you need to know that I really like the breed. Know that first. I really like the breed. Okay, so about the breed. Sleek, powerful, possessing a magnificent, a magnificent physique and keen intelligence. They're pretty streamlined looking. I'll give them that look pretty fast. Keen intelligence. Most of ours have been pretty smart. Doberman Pinscher is a one of dog kind. Wow. Doberman Pinscher is one of dog kind's noblemen. It is a noble man. Noble men, noble, I'm not sure what that is with the female side of the Doberman. Anyway, incomparably fearless and vigilant breed stands proudly among the world's finest protection dogs. That is an effing lie if I've ever seen it. Holy crap, that's the breed description. Whoever writes these breed descriptions, they're f***ing lying. Lying, I can't even imagine the amount of lying you've done to these poor people. Ugh, this is painful. In 1950, that might have been true. 1960, it might have been true. Maybe even 1990. But I can tell you that in 2001, the Doberman is not the world's finest protection dog. If your dog is barking and growling at people, that might be pointed in the right direction. We need to think about this. This dog was bred, designed, genetically modified, genetically engineered, genetically thought, oh, whatever. You don't want to say it. Selectively bred. Right over a bazillion years, which is a lot of light, which is a lot of cycles, dog genetic cycles. That's right. When we're talking about when we're talking about uh, bazillion, bazillion years, by a guy who collected taxes to protect him. So I want you to think about the tax collectors of today. Right. So the IRS was that like it brings fear into you, right? Okay, but what does the IRS need if they actually need to collect from you? They need law enforcement. They need three letter agencies. They need bear cats. They need shit to actually go get your stuff. This dude made a dog. He made a dog to come get your shit, right? So we're talking bad, 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 bad Bama Jamma. Like, as a breed, this dog was designed to eat people and save tax collectors. I mean, that is badass, right? I mean, it, it really is badass. And today, it's really a disappointment. It's an Ottoman. It's just been devastated. If your Doberman is at, if the reality is most people can't, the re, you know why this happens is because people can't handle a dog that is an ass kicker, right? You get a dog that is an ass kicker and he is out there and he is getting shit done and you hand him to somebody and then they get the neighbor kid bit because they can't manage the damn thing. And then it's the dog's fault because they're an idiot. What is wrong? I just, it mind boggling to me. I can't understand. Why have we deviated so far from the magic that this dog would have been, right? The magic that this dog was. Why couldn't we have just loved him because he liked to eat people for a living? Like that was his job. He, he loved it, right? You just imagine these, you know, these monstrosities way back in the day. Just eating people, right? It's like, you know, it was the Marine Corps devil dog. That was part of it, right? The Doberman, the Marine Corps devil dog. That's like the whole part of the, the whole heritage. And here we are. And it's... It's, it's a really sleek Ottoman now who we're mad at it if it barks at people. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed in, the, in, in the, what's happened to this poor dog. It's, I, it's just, it, it's mortifying to me. I don't even know who to blame. I want to yell at somebody. Is there somebody I can call? I need a name. Like I need, I need a guy who's screwing a girl, whatever. Whoever's screwing this thing up. Whoever screwed this thing up a bazillion years ago, we need to know who they are. Whoever said, I need to take an, an animal, a monster, right? A man-eater. And I need to breed it so that my 12-year-old can walk it down the street. Who did that? Let's go smack him because, or her, whoever it was, because that was a terrible idea. And that's what's happened to this breed. Somebody took a monster and they said, ah, oh, geez, we need to make it so that people that can't train dogs or can't handle dogs or can't manage dogs or don't want to put the time in to go train their dog or don't want to put the time in to learn how to manage their dogs should have a dog who's, who's got a short black coat and is very sleek and muscular and powerful looking and is noble. You're broken. You broke it. You broke the whole thing. I don't give a shit whether it's noble. It was a man eater. World's finest protection dog. That's what it was. It's now the world's most marginal Ottoman with legs. 
again, I'm a little passionate about the Doberman. It's a dog I really love. It's a breed I really love. I've had some good ones. I like, own some ones that would just, you know, just you would wear them. I mean, you'd wear them to the hospital, bite you anywhere but the bottom of your feet. I mean, just monster, you know, nice dogs, bit people. No joke, bit people because I wanted to bite them because I like biting people. Now, nothing. Find a good one's a needle in a haystack. You guys have killed it. Okay, that's my 15 minute rant on the Doberman. That's all I got. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. If you've got a good Doberman, you're blessed. Let me tell you, you're blessed. If you got a good Doberman, go to Ray Allen and get your dog training equipment because you need to train it if you got a good one. If you don't have a good Doberman, call the breeder, tell them how bad. Oh, God, don't do that. I'm sorry. That was all my fault. Don't ever do that. Get your dog training equipment from Allen.com. That's really what this is about. I'm not sure why they give me the format to rant like this, but you should buy dog equipment from Ray Allen just because they let me do it. Oh, <laughs>